Hey everybody, I hope you all are well. So I am working on getting the shelving up for the dispensary in the nurse office. And now I am doing the same thing that I did in the entryway, I'm using that canvas fabric. I just loved how that worked and I'm doing that for this room as well. Just um, a, a bigger checker pattern. And I'm not perfectly measuring a certain measurement. I'm just doing the width of the roller. So I, I would say they're about an inch, the checkers, inch by inch, or one by one. <laughs> Here I'm just creating like holes in the tiles that have worn down over time because I like that effect in the other room. I'm doing it in places where people would be the most, which would be walking into the dispensary or walking up to the window to ask for medicine or however they do it. And here I'm using the um, stencils that I got from Amazon and I'm following how like the checker print was in the movie it was just basically the, the black checker tiles around the perimeter of the room And if you are allergic to latex, you do not want to try this at home. I'm using what's called rotten skin liquid latex. And this is how I'm going to attempt peeling paint for the first time ever. So I'm painting globs of this latex on everything because I, I want the whole room to look like it's peeling just decades and decades of paint layers just slowly peeling off Since this movie set hasn't been used in I don't know how long. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The girl interrupted movie set. <laughs> and I'm not doing it perfect. So this stuff I'm using Nightshades by Motion Pictures Effects. This is basically like a PAX paint. It is half like medical prosade latex and half white acrylic paint and so this will stick to the latex really well it's what you use when we make our latex masks on the side 
This is the kind of paint that we use. It'll never peel off the latex, ever. Now, if you did just acrylic paint, it would chip and peel right off. So, it's doing pretty good coverage. Um, it's not perfect, but, you know, I'm not going for perfect in the look of this room. And so, I'm just doing one layer of each, one layer of liquid latex, and one layer of the white mask latex that's pigmented. And in between, I'm using a blow dryer because if not, you know, this would take forever. The only thing I've used latex with is, well, of course, making Halloween masks, but um, you can make like um, paint appliances onto yourself, like gory makeup or whatever you mix the liquid latex but look at yami she's staying in her cube and she loves it <laughs> anyway you can mix liquid latex with like oatmeal and just create like nasty wounds and here you can see i'm just ripping and pulling latex i'm rubbing it as well trying to ball it up on the wall It, this was so hard, okay? Like, my fingers feel like they have blisters. <laughs> because the room is so big. I'm like armpit deep into this thing. It's crazy. How do little kids get their little arms back in there? <laughs> So you see how that, it creates a pretty cool effect. And I'm so glad I'm like really paying attention to trying to get good camera angles for you guys. Um, so after this, I really speed it up because you get the gist. And this really took forever. And I'm using Ugly Hospital Green. I might have gone like a little bit overboard but that's all right. Uh, using antique wax on the fireplace because when I peeled that white latex off, it left the natural um, wood underneath. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, after I paint it on where wood is exposed, I wipe it off with the tissue. And same with the window sills. Uh oh. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> no need to edit it. Um, so I'm just using antique wax around the edges and the holes of the tile on the floor and just kind of umbraying it out where people would walk. And here I'm sponging a little bit of white to make it not too drastic. And then that would be the inside of the office. I'm adding some science, uh, like lab stuff microscope and like a little scale to weigh pills to tell you how many you got there to give out for that night um and so i know when i put this in it looks brand new compared to the rest of the room but i plan to age that tomorrow i just cannot do any more today i've been at it for hours um but those uh, little lab things are from Timu. They were only a couple bucks. I got them forever ago. And I found these cherry bead earrings. I'm using the, the beads as the doorknob. I'll probably paint those silver.
but I just sort of like bent them into place and then I created the I don't know what you call it in between the knob and the door the thing the straight part I used hot glue So, um, on that piece of foam, I did do Gorilla wood glue all over that, just to make it very strong and stable. Those are some of the lab jars that I got from Timu. They didn't come in a set, you had to buy them each. But I liked how they were milk white. But they could be like different pill bottles. It's probably not like accurate, but it'll still look cool. Because I'm going to make accurate to 1960s. Oh yeah, so I had some difficulties with the scale. It wouldn't stick, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Two of the jars are in the way. All right. So I finally am getting it in there. And then I also did caulk all the edges like I did the other rooms. And we're just going to let that dry overnight. And here's the finished look for now. And uh, latex is a lot of fun, a lot of work and takes time but very fun and I cannot wait to start tomorrow it's where like the fun stuff begins and we can make the furniture add the TV but um, anyway I'm doing okay and uh, I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend thank you so much for my new subscribers being here and um, yeah, I'm just so grateful for you guys. And keep sharing, because there's going to be a doll giveaway once I hit a thousand subscribers. Alright, there we go. See you all later. Everybody be safe, be healthy, you take care.